Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back with a another episode of the Mindless Horror Podcast. Welcome back. That doesn't present character appreciation month. I know it's been it's been a while to just sit back and talk some horniness. It's been like two months, I believe. Yeah, because I don't think we did it in October, did we? No. Well, thank you. Welcome back, uh, faithful viewers. Fa- old faithful. Old faithful. Uh, I miss doing this. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. We got a couple, just a couple. Little news to talk about. A little, a little short thing. Stuff that I found interesting. Um, and yeah, I'm a little sick. And I'm Sam. Yeah. Hi, little sick. I'm hi, just kidding. That's hi, a bad Sam. Joke. It's a bad joke. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling too good. But uh, that is what it is. Yeah, well, it'd be like that sometimes. Just currently sucking on a nasty ass cherry cough drop, which I thought would taste a lot better, but it doesn't. You should have told me I. Actually, no, I'll have my cough drops in my desk. Or I could have brought you Dayquil or something. Let's go buy some before we go to Disneyland. Disneyland! Uh, today we're going to talk about a couple things. Uh, and maybe talk a little bit about Character Appreciation Month. How we, what we liked, what we think we, we can do better on. If there's anything we can do better on. Leave it in the comments below. Yeah. Um, so what do, we got up? what do we got first? Today, right now, we're going to talk about um, a new show, I guess, Ghost Adventures is coming out with called Ghost Adventures Screaming Room. Screaming Room? And they're, what it's going to be is about the crew is going to revisit their scariest moments in the series of Ghost Adventures. Oh, so it's going to be like, they're going to be recapping what happened? Yeah, but I think they're going to go from like season one all the way to like now and just... And it's like add commentary? Yeah. Just kind huh. of watch it with viewers and maybe go through what experiences they were going through as it was going down or... Yeah, no, I think that would be really interesting. Um... I know this isn't horror related, but one of my favorite shows is Impractical Jokers. Mm-hmm. Um, and they kind of do a similar thing where they kind of like throw like a little bit of like commentary over some of their stuff. And I, well, you're really having a bad time with that haul. I swallowed it. Hey, that wasn't a good idea. That wasn't a good idea at all. But they, they do the similar thing, and I, I'd be very interested because I've never watched Ghost Adventures really. It's a good show. I've heard nothing but great things about it, but I'm a scaredy cat and. Watching that alone in my room at night was probably not. That'd be a good idea. Yeah. Um, I do it all the time. Yeah, you're. we all know that you're more brave than I am, though. I do that. When I go to bed, it's just throwing on in the background. And I fall asleep and wake up here and someone's screaming. Sometimes. Some, I mean, I just I fall asleep to sports, and I? Yeah. I thought, you fall asleep, I thought you fall asleep to Baba. I fall asleep to a lot of things. You got, you got a mix. Got a mix. Um, I've been sleeping in here lately. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's just because due to the fact that I get home late now and I'm up all night. And my yeah. cousin, you know, he usually sleeps in here, but like, you know, he goes to bed early. So it's like, I'm in here doing work or watching movies mm-hmm. with my uncle. And I don't go to bed till like five, so. Oh, so he sleeps whatever. My uncle, he won't go to bed till like three or four either. He'll be up here all night with me. Yeah. But my uh, cousin, he'll go sleep in my room. Yeah, you know, it's been really, uh, it's been really interesting since you, I'm a little bit into our personal lives, it's been very interesting since you switched shifts, and it's only been a week, that like, I can just text you when I wake up in the middle of the night to use a restroom, and then we can just get down to business <laughs> real quick. I'm surprised you're awake half the time, like, fuck, I'm like, I'm keeping this guy up, he's gotta go to work the next day. Well, you, you text me that you need something, and it's like, am I gonna remember when I wake up, or do I got like... Or can I just give 10 minutes of sleep up real quick and just knock it out? And he does that. <laughs> like, he did that this week, and I was surprised, like, very surprised as to what was going to happen with that. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's been it's been quite a week coming back to nights. Yeah. I think it's partially the reason why I'm sick now. It's just because... Your body's adjusting. Adjusting. Not only that, but it's like I'm outside more at night, and it's yeah. been raining. I mean, it went, from no one week, it went from one week to being hot to, like, the next week raining. Yeah, so it it's been like, no fun in California. That's why a lot of people are probably getting sick right now in California, too. Yeah, and I heard the flu season's coming early, so. Yeah, it's due to the freaking weather. Yeah. So. Oh, but yeah. But back, but back to back Ghost to what the podcast is really man. about. Ghost Adventures, <laughs> man. I'm looking forward to seeing what that show's going to offer. 
Uh, well, is that, will it be Zach Bagans though? Yeah, it said Zach. It said the whole Ghost Adventures crew. The whole squad. Yeah. Stop. So, Zach Bagans and friends revisit their scariest moments. I wonder if like they'll bring on like, because I know Post Malone I think was on an episode. Yeah. Um, I wonder if they'll bring in like the celebrity to watch it with them too. Sometimes. Because like, that would cool. be interesting. That'd be really cool. I know people would want to rewatch that with them to see what their thoughts were about it. And yeah. Uh, but I'm looking forward to that. I'll, I'll, we'll let you guys know. I don't know when it's... Maybe... I don't know if there's a release date on that yet. Let me check. All right. I'll, I'll fill in some time. Fill in some time. Fill in time. January 2nd. January so Right at the beginning at of the new year. PM, yeah. So it is... It's debuting. That's next. a Thursday? It's a Thursday. Yeah. yeah. So there it is. It's debuting at the new year. Yeah, new year. New show. Yep. Um, Wait, can we just... Can I, I don't mean to... Once again, take us off topic again, but... I kind of it's already going to be 2020. I know. I feel like it was just August. Yeah. It's been a busy couple months. I know. It's been a busy couple months. Time flies when you're having fun, I guess. I guess so. You call that fun? I call that work. I mean, to me, I mean, it's work, but I have fun doing it. Uh, yeah. I do. Most of the time. Yeah. Depends what we're doing. Yeah. I mean, Midsummer Scream could have been a lot more fun if had not we scheduled a lot of stuff. Yes, but. It is what it is. Hey, it's going to be three days this year. And it's gonna be worse. Yeah. But we know it's gonna be worse this year. Yeah. Um, and we also know that. Well, either way, we're either both getting gold bets or we're getting media. So. Um, I think this year, I'm gonna only do two podcasts each day if we can, or one a day. Um, that way yeah. we don't overdo it this year with podcast. I think we did five last year or four. Yeah. So I don't want to overdo it this year. And, yeah, you know, maybe do one after a panel, and then I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll figure. We it definitely got to wait for the schedule to come out in order to plan the podcast around the schedule. Yeah. So. But if you want to be on, you know, we're already we're already looking for. Well, I know we just finished character appreciation month. That'd be there. that'd be summer of guests though. So yeah, we're characters. Already, yeah, we're already looking to get ready for summer of guests. So. It's characters, if you want to be on, for summer of guests, you mid, know where to find us. Midsummer scream shows, let us know. Yeah. Um. All right. Next bit of news, uh, I guess that was a fourth bit of news, Midsummer Scream, going to be three days now. I mean, if you don't know that by now, but... Yeah, if you didn't know that. It's, I mean, I it's think Friday brought, night and then Saturday, Sunday. I think we brought that up before in a yeah. past episode, but... Ghostbusters Afterlife released a new poster. What's Ghostbusters? Oh, uh, oh, that's the new Ghostbusters. Movie with... Oh, I was like, wait, another Ghost Adventure story? No. No, Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Yeah, they're making... This is going to be tied into the first and second movie. Huh. And from what I'm reading, like, Paul Rudd, and I guess Paul Rudd's going to be in it, Finn Wolfhard's going to be in it. Yeah. And there's some other chick that's going to be in it. But I know we were talking about that months ago already. Yeah. So we've been following this one for a little while. So they have a kind of a little synopsis of it, and it's going to be Reckman's, Rekt- uh, I think they're Reckman's grandkids. Huh, okay. And that's how they're going to tie back into the original. The original. And yeah. the original crew is actually going to, who's ever alive left is going to be in the movie as well. Yeah. Um... So that's going to be cool. But the, the poster's really cool. In the trailer, the little teaser that they released, I think, in the beginning of this year or, like, this time last year, um, all you saw was a barn. They went in. Something was going on in the barn. Yeah. And then the there was a cover on this car, and then the cover gets appeared, and you just see the Ghostbusters logo. Oh. And, it's, and it, re- 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 it reveals the Ecto-1. Yeah, the Ecto-1. Of course, the famous hearse. Uh, car that the Ghostbusters drive. This is the new poster, essentially, and it's the Ecto One inside so, of a, like a crop field, yeah. driving away. So um, it should be cool. It also came out, uh, or at least this this one doesn't do it, but it, it came out. They came out with also uh, three el- images of some of the characters. The trailer is supposed to be released Monday. Monday. So, so as of this released already, it's already been out. Yeah. But as of this recording, we have not seen it yet. Yeah. But the synopsis is like this. When a single mom and her two kids arrive in a small town, they begin to discover their connection to the original Ghostbusters and the secret legacy their grandfather left behind. Huh. So, that should be cool. I'm excited that the original Ghostbusters are coming back. Yeah, I mean, anything with Bill Murray is always a good idea. Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd. Yeah. All of them, man. They're all coming back, so it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to that. I definitely will we'll probably be watching that one when it comes out. Yes. we got to get our A-list back first. Yes. <laughs> Both or just me? Both, man. i, I got to go down and... AMC to get my account fixed and everything so oh that's right yeah I forgot about that um the last bit of news for kind of a welcome back short podcast uh the Joker is doing one last week of it coming back to IMAX before it goes on digital will you be going to watch it in IMAX no okay 
because I don't have my A list for one, and two, all the IMAX down the street from us, the seats suck. But if there's no one in them, you can take like two or three seats. Still are uncomfortable for that long length of that movie. Okay. I sat through fucking Han Solo, and I had that much amount of seats, and they were just uncomfortable. Yeah. It's just not fun. No fun. Um. However, if there's another theater that has better seats, I'll probably go to that one. I don't know about the point in IMAX. So. I don't either. I've, um, I've never been to that one. But, yeah, I, I thought Joker was such a great movie. I loved it so much, being a Batman Joker fan. Um, I'll let you talk about this. Yeah, being a Batman Joker fan, I, I, I liked it a lot. I liked what they did with the character. I liked how they kind of revamped it in a way and made it their own. And then... Did a lot of good work to try to keep Batman out of it as much as possible, but they still showed him. Which I, I think I enjoyed the part of, you know, still keeping the the rest of Gotham alive by using the Waynes. Yeah. But not making it the the center of the, attention, of yeah. the plot. Yeah, it yeah. was a it was a subplot. Yeah. And I liked a lot of how they did that. Um, my only issue with it is in the comics, Joker and Bruce Wayne are supposed to be relatively the same age. Yeah, and then obviously Bruce is a little bit younger. Yeah. And by a little bit, I mean like 20 years. Yeah. At I, least. I did like how they did the whole crime alley thing at the end. That was really cool. That was really cool. They set up the whole him killing his parents and everything, and that was really cool. So that was cool to see. Um, I'm excited to see what they have in store for the sequel. Yeah. Uh, obviously, it's gonna it'll be really good. I wonder... What Joaquin Phoenix will do next? I can see where they can explore next. If he's going to be locked in Arkham. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That'd be really cool to do an Arkham movie. They could do an Arkham movie. Uh, they could do a movie of how he met Harley Quinn. They can go years later too, and even introduce like Year One Batman. That would. So the my only one that I I don't want them to introduce Harley Quinn because I feel like she's such a hot piece of pop culture currently because of Suicide Squad and then because of her new movie coming out. I don't think it would be a good idea to, to explore that. Because then you'll have two different Harley Quinns. You already have two different Jokers. Jared Leto's Joker doesn't count. It's still a Joker. I don't think he's canon anymore, is he? Uh, well, they they wrote him off in Birds of Prey. Yeah. But he's still a Joker. Yeah, but they, I, I don't count him. I think you I could not count him all you want. I don't like him either, but he's still a Joker regardless. Wait, I, I've never asked you this question. One thing, this isn't mindless horror related, but what are your thoughts on Har um, what's her name is Harley Quinn? Margot Robbie? Yeah, yeah I think she's excellent. Okay, I like I like I love Margot Robbie because I knew you weren't you weren't a fan of Suicide Squad, right? No, uh, no, I like Suicide Squad. I just didn't like Joker. Okay, you I had no problem with Suicide. Squad. So you liked everyone else except <clears throat> for yeah, everyone else was they did, they had a pretty good casting choice for that. Um, no. Regardless, it wasn't the way David Ayer wanted to do it. He yeah. was rushed doing the project, and that's why it ultimately came out to what, the way it was. Yeah. And if you looked at like the concept art and stuff that he's talked about, it was going to go a whole different route. Instead of them fighting, um, what was her name, Enchantress, it was going to yeah. be them fighting Steppenwolf. Oh wow, that'd have been really cool. Yeah, it would. It would. So it was going to ultimately set up more Justice League plot. Yeah. And. Uh, but they would have had to lose to Steppenwolf then, right? Pretty much. Or they could have beat him to a point where he retreats and then comes back. Uh, for comes minute. back for Justice League. Yeah. That's probably the better option. Yeah. So, yeah, originally Steppenwolf was supposed to be the original villain for Suicide Squad. I liked Enchantress, but yeah. I just felt like the it was such a quick movie. Yeah. And had so many characters. Like I said, David Ayer, just, he was rushed, and the movie he wanted to make didn't get made. Yeah. I, I enjoyed the movie, though. I, I will be, I'll be i be one of the first people to say I, I enjoyed it. No, I, I liked it a lot, too. And a lot of people shit on it, but I liked it a lot. Yeah. Due to its soundtrack was good. Yeah, the soundtrack um, was cool. I, I, I just, a lot of those characters we have not seen in a live-action role. Yeah. Or on the same screen in a live-action role together. Yeah. Which I thought was cool. And, the, and one thing they did, which I thought was, was really cool is since a lot of those villains are Batman villains, or like uh, Captain Boomerang's Flash villain, um, you know, with the Batman stuff, like when they introduced, when they had Batman with Harley Quinn and Joker on the same screen, like, I fucking love that. Yeah. Even though, like, the Joker was shitty, yeah. like, I think it was just, it was just a big wow for audiences and fans because they'd never seen live-action 
Joker, Batman, and Harley Quinn all on the same screen together. Yeah, because you've seen Joker, Batman a yeah. few times. And yeah, but you haven't seen Joker and Harley Quinn. Yeah. Or you know, Joker, Harley Quinn, and Batman together on a, on a live action screen, or even at that moment, Joker and Harley Quinn. Yeah. And what they did with that scene was fucking so well executed. Where he, you know, comes around the corner with the Batmobile, jumps on their car, and they go into the water and everything, which I thought was really cool. Yeah. And of course. Uh, Batman and Deadshot was another cool one. Yeah. I mean, I enjoyed the movie a lot. I wish they would have continued on with it, but I think the bat plaque is done. Yeah, he's done. So He already came out and said he was done. Robert Pattinson's the next Batman. We'll see how will that he goes. Be, will he be in the same universe? From what I'm hearing, no. It, this this next Batman movie is going to be a standalone Batman movie. Okay. Um, I don't know. I, I really don't know, honestly. I can't tell you much yeah. right now because I... Yeah, I'm, I'm sounding like I'm working for fucking Warner Brothers. Like I can't tell you much. But, uh, you know, you know I, this is what I can tell you. There's something in the works. Um, no, I, I, I don't. <coughs> <laughs> Excuse him while he dies. Yeah, no shit. Um, I don't know where they're gonna go with this Batman movie as far as timelining goes. I've been hearing a lot of rumors that it's gonna be like a kind of a year one noir type film. Okay. Where it's gonna be really focusing on the detective aspect of him being a detective. Yeah. Which I think is fucking awesome. Um, Matt Reeves wants to really make it like a, and also kind of like a gangster movie in a way because he wants to make all the villains very gangster like vibe and stuff. Which bring me back Jack Nicholson, right? Yeah, but he wants to make him like very gangsterous, you know, kind of. But he's gonna have like characters like the Penguin, the Riddler. Oh wow! Yeah, bring back some classics. Yeah, some stuff we haven't seen on the the screen in a while. Yeah, and the the casting choices have been interesting too. I think he just hired on. Um, What's his name? Fuck, to play uh, Alfred. Uh, shit, what's his name? He played Gollum. You're asking, you're asking the wrong guy. Or he played in uh, or in Black Panther, he was Ulysses Claw. Okay, I know I the guy you're talking about. Yeah. I don't know his name. I forget his name, but he's a good actor. He does yeah. a lot of motion cap, too. He played like Caesar in Planet of the Ape. played King Kong. Um, oh, really? Yeah, he was King Kong. His, he owns, outside of being a really good actor, he owns a motion cap company and he's like the biggest motion cap company in the world so they did films like king kong planet of the apes like a lot of the big motion cap movies that you've seen he's probably done well that's crazy lord We're of the rings enough. he was Gollum. but uh yeah uh they got him playing alfred you got robert pattison as um as as uh batman obviously yeah um and then they casted a cat woman which i think is uh someone's daughter like a rock star's daughter or something like that. Huh. Forget her name. Uh, uh, Lenny Kavitz or whatever his name oh, is. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Zoe. Yeah, she's playing Catwoman. Okay. Which I think is a great casting choice. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be good I, from what I've been seeing and what I've been hearing. I heard he's getting ripped up right now, too, for the role. So. That would be interesting to see him rip. You know what? Like, a lot of people give him shit as an actor because of fucking Twilight. Yeah. But, like, I don't know a lot of a lot of people have seen his other movies. No, I've seen some of his other work. And he wasn't the worst part of Twilight. I mean, they gave him... They just... They put him in a shitty role. Yeah, you're only as good as your script. Yeah. I, once again, I, I, I will be the first one to say I enjoyed the Twilight movies. I know that that's a very controversial opinion. I know you're judging me. But I enjoyed them when I was, like, in seventh grade. I, uh... You gotta see him in other movies, though. Like, he did a lot of B movies and... I've seen him in Remember Me. I think I think I've seen him in Water for Elephants. I want to see him in The Lighthouse that just came out recently. Yeah, yeah, I heard that one was good. Yeah, I heard he's nude in that one too. I heard he has sex with a, a mermaid. <laughs> wow, <Yeah>. I mean, <laughs> that's you thought, different. You thought fucking uh, Shape of Water when she was having sex with the freaking that, that fish movie, guy. The movies. I don't know how that movie got released in theaters. Hey. Gilmore Del Toro was a fucking genius. That's no, 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 no. I, I know it was a great movie. Just, <laughs> it was very graphic. And it won fucking picture of the year. Dude. Yeah, it was just so graphic that I was like, I didn't think the American audience would allow this to be released in the theater. Uh, they did. Yeah. And it won fucking picture of the year. Yeah. At the Academy Awards. Bestiality. Good job. It won a lot of awards, actually. Oh, but I, we apologize for going off on That's a horror. tangent. That's horror. No, no, that was horror. Batman, I don't, not so much, but we both enjoy it. Depends that how you, it depends how you look at Batman. It could be horror at times. Oh, well, yeah. I just read a fucking story right now called Deceased, where it was all about fucking this virus, and they made him look like zombies and shit. Yeah, but they're not doing that movie. 
yet. Not yet. Hopefully they will. That'd be Maybe good. one day. That'd be good. World War Deceased? World War Deceased. No, just call it Deceased. Even yeah. if it's an animated movie, I'd love it. Yeah. But yeah, Joker mm-hmm. coming back for a week, dude, that truly shows. Because I, I think it hit a billion dollars. It was one of yeah. D- DC's movies that hit a billion. Yeah, they're just trying to and raise more money. Well, it's the highest rated the R movie of all time. Yeah. So. And it made a ton of, made a killing. Yeah, I think they didn't expect it to do this good. And when it did amazing, they were like, holy shit, we have a fucking seller. Like, yeah, no shit, it's a fucking Joker movie. You know how many Joker fans there are in this world? He's like probably one of the most notable villains of all time. Yeah, one of the most. Like, I he's would say, I like would say he's Vader. like in like the top three. Yeah, Darth Vader. Darth Vader would be number one. Yeah. And then I would say Joker would be two or three. Easily. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, I, I couldn't, I don't, I don't know anyone else. I'm trying to think someone else that someone would know, but yeah, I'm thinking Joker maybe second then. Yeah, Vader might. maybe only number one because of who he is and what he looks yeah. like. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that uh, when it comes out on digital because I'm gonna watch that. Again. I know you're gonna buy it. I'll probably I'll probably watch it for the third time and see if I can stay awake. Stay awake. Yeah. Okay. Well, do we have anything else? Uh, that's it. That's that it. is it. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Uh, oh, yeah, well, I mean, let's talk a little bit about what we thought about Scarecter Appreciation Month. So I just sat on my mic. Sat on it. Yep. Uh, Scarecter Appreciation Month, man. We're going to hold our mics like this for a second, or what? I hold out a lot. I mean, I know. I hold my dad mic. Scarecter Appreciation Month. It was fun. It was a lot of fun, and uh, we want to, I, I mean, I, first off, I want to thank everyone that came on, and then all of our new subscribers as a result, too. Uh, you know, that's the reason why we do it <laughs> to, to share their stories um, and to allow you guys a, a little behind the screens yeah a little platform for characters to uh, come on and yeah in a way vent about their haunt season which we yeah. love hearing I mean vent um, just let us let us in you know let us in to the mask you know yeah uh, and I mean, if anyone that didn't get on like we had mentioned earlier we had a up. lot of people hit us up towards the end that wanted to come on I'm still getting messages and comments today about people wanting to come on the show yeah and it's like it's, it's really hard to turn everyone down but it's like we don't want we I mean we can go on and do this for as long as we wanted to but yeah at the end of the day me and this guy we kind of wanted to just relax and now and then and yeah I mean I didn't even anticipate doing this today no, I think I just wanted to do it only just because I wanted to get back to the groove of... Yeah, back in the groove. Of uh, the Mindless Horror Podcast coming back as to a news platform. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. no, we had an amazing time doing Mindless Horror. Presents uh, a Scared sure. Appreciation yeah. Month. And uh, I think the reason why we did a cutoff the way we did is because... Yeah, I mean, we could get all these characters on now and do it, or we can wait and... Hear yeah. more story, more, more news stories. You know what I mean? And yeah, like, and, I mean we have we'll have a lot of people obviously returning next year. We we'll have a lot of people returning next year. We uh, got like we like you mentioned, we got summer of guests. Summer of guests for an opportunity of platform for people to come on because I know I will be working days in the summer, so that will help. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we'll do that. Um. We're still undecisive of how next year's haunt schedule will be. Yeah. Due to the fact of me working nights. Yeah. Um, so. so That'll be TBA. Yeah, it's TBA at the moment. Uh, the latest will let you know in on that is probably September. Yeah. Um, just because that'll be the for sure kind of thing. I'm, I'm my my goal right now is to save up a lot of vacation days, and then for like opening nights and stuff to use them for that. Obviously, yeah. Because I mean, they can't say no to a vacation day. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's I am entitled to them, so. Yeah. Um. Maybe save them all for the opening night events, and then like. If it's on a Thursday, then I can go to work the next day because you know, yeah, work I mean, nights, yeah, you, know, you don't have to be there till like three. So <laughs> yeah, I'll be okay. Yeah, um, but yeah, that's the goal is to save all my vacation days from now until the start of haunt season or even midsummer scream. Yeah, and you know, use my one for you know that Friday. That way, I don't gotta worry about fucking <laughs> being dead after work because I will be working days at that point because we're doing a summer schedule. Oh yeah. So I will be working days at that point, but I'll probably use it for that Friday so we can enjoy the weekend. Um, or at least I can enjoy the weekend. Because I already know I'm going to be dead fucking filming and shit. Yeah, I mean, well, we'll, we'll see where we are at that. But, um, I mean, I, I just really had a grand time. And I'm really excited for all the friends we made and connections we made as a result of just putting ourselves out there. For I that. can't tell you how many times, like, towards the end that we got invited out to the fucking rink. To yeah. Not even just there. that, just... 
<laughs> uh, people following us on Instagram. Yeah. I mean, that's super cool because like no one out, no one was really following our Instagram before. We had like two hundred. Well, I mean, we had like two hundred people. Like I, I'm just saying, no one. But like I feel like we grow so much. Oh yeah, we did obviously. Uh, um, yeah, and we got we made people are still following us. Yeah. And when people follow me on my personal, it makes me feel even cooler. <laughs> like, I have friends. I don't use my personal as much anymore. Like I, I go on it every now and then, but I'm so focused on Nights of Horror and my new project coming out in January yeah. that um, I'm barely on. I'm on the Nights of Horror one more than anything. I yeah. gotta turn that in a way my own personal. Yeah, Instagram. I mean you. Yeah, you use that one. Uh, I don't post personal pictures on there, obviously, but I'm on there too. Yeah. So I see everything. Yeah. I just don't respond to everything. Yeah. I yeah. let you do that. <laughs> Yeah, so basically, if you guys are sending us messages, we both see them. Yeah. Just letting you know that right now. That's yeah. just, but that's just the business side of things. It's just so mean. If I, like this morning, I didn't put up anything post wise for Shoot the Shit, and I wake up and all the shit was up. So, yeah, it's thank awesome God for that. Because I also was like, oh, I wonder if it's out yet. And I was like, oh, it's been out for 45 minutes. And Let's still, check if there's any posts. I was still asleep. Yeah, no posts. Okay, let me do it real quick. I didn't wake up till about <laughs> 2 o'clock, one thirty-five maybe. Yeah, I was up like at nine. And then I had texted you that I was gonna do something. You know what I really did is I went, I fell back asleep, took another nap. <laughs> I was supposed to come over at three. And you're supposed to come over at three. You're like, it's gonna be a while till I come over. I'm like, take your fucking time. So from like three to like four fifteen, I took another nap. I've been literally sleeping all day, and I think it's just a lot to do with do being sick. Yeah. So it's like it's been helping. Yeah. So I've been sleeping literally almost all day, and I'm kind of wide awake now. I mean, wide I awake. Shit. Took my shower and everything. Yeah. But no, I think with Summer of Guests, man. I mean, I, I we had a lot of fucking heavy hitters on this for the first year we've done this. Um, yeah. I mean, we had a lot of the staple characters on, and, oh, yeah. I, and a lot of the rookies on too, which I thought were yeah. Which I mean, we thought we were, they were veterans, but uh, yeah, if they didn't tell I mean, us they, they were, were rookies, they were veterans of the event. Yeah. But a lot of them were rookies on Ghost Street. Uh, Ghost Street. Ghost, Ghost Town. Street. Yeah, Ghost Street. Ghost um, Street. It's called Ghost Street now. Yeah. Uh, you heard it here first. Not Ghost Town. Ghost Street. Ghost Street. <laughs> Ghost Town. Because they'd be listening to Ghost on those streets. Yeah. they This season actually is because of these monsters that I've been listening to Ghost more now. I, I still haven't listened to them. But it's okay. I listen it's to... Pantera? Only when I'm with you, really. Slayer? <laughs> Once again, only when I'm with you. Uh, I would have thought it would have increased after the show. No, I haven't. I have actually... I think I don't think I've listened to Slayer since the show. Well, yeah, you didn't have a choice there. It was a fucking an hour, two hour set, Slayer. Yeah, well, no, it was good, though. It was good. Slayer. You heard that here. Yeah, we went to Slayer on their farewell tour. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, man, I can't wait to do Summer of Guests and it's Character Appreciation Month next year. Yeah. Uh, they both did a really good job this year. Uh, they were both very successful. And they were both a lot of fun, to, yeah. to be honest. Especially, I mean, there was a lot of work for Character Appreciation Month. No, yeah, it was. But especially for Character Appreciation Month, I didn't expect it to be they, it'd be as big as as a success as it was yeah like i was getting messages and and like there was videos hitting 200 views within the first day yeah which like that's that's which not unheard, unheard of for us, us. Yeah. yeah when we get 50 views we like we go sh ape shit but yeah like, <laughs> when we have 300 views on the next video we go that's our highest viewed podcast right there there's no there's no words that can share how excited we were no there isn't so that was fun. i mean to, to prove that we'll be at work well, I'll be at work, or he'll be at work, and then he'll be like, "Oh, bro, this this has like a hundred views." He texts me it, but like, what? Then I have to go look to make sure. And then he goes to text me something. He'll text me like throughout the day, "Oh, dude, Lucy Billy just hit two hundred. I'm like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, like we did it. Yeah. So those of you who made the three hundred club, Merrick, welcome. welcome. Merrick's the only leader of the three hundred club right He's now. The leader of the three hundred. Although Jackie, Bree, and uh, Ruth are falling right behind. Really it. close. Really close. Really close. They're very close. Yeah. Uh, Hostel still got a little bit ways to go, but he's almost there. Yeah. But to the 200 club, we got uh, Jackie, Ruth, and Bree. We got Hostel. We got AJ, um, or Judas. Judas, yeah. Uh, Lucy and Billy. And I think Jen's almost there. Wait. There he is. On Aaron. No. Aaron wins. Aaron wins. No fucking way. It's at <laughs> 6,000 views. This took an unexpected turn, really, yeah. on the podcast, so we're just going to end this here. Yeah. Uh, thank you, everyone. Wait, wait, wait. Well, before we end, one last thing. Tune into our live stream. 
live stream December yeah. 21st we are doing Krampus it's our yearly tradition that mm -hmm. we do around here on the Nights of Horror we did Krampus last year I believe and we did Nightmare Before Christmas yeah uh, basically saying we don't know a lot of Halloween horror movies and that is a good Halloween horror movie in my opinion I yeah. love what uh, they did with Krampus same guy who fucking did Krampus obviously did Trick or Treat so now you know why I like it yeah I didn't know that the yeah. more you know the more you know so um yeah, we're doing Krampus. It's our yearly thing, our yearly tradition here on the Nights of War. Um, Image goes there. The goal for... Probably not. I don't edit these that good. <laughs> I just put the clips together and... Oh, fucking, I may edit this one, though, because there's a lot we talked about within the last fucking 10 seconds that I might just edit out. <laughs> yeah. I was freaking out over a 6,000 view video. Yeah. Um, there is... Uh, I have an idea for... Uh, there was an idea to bring together a group... No, I'm just kidding. Um, I, didn't, I didn't even know you were calling with that one. That was Avengers. Oh. That was Nick Fury saying that, but oh. uh, my idea was to hopefully uh, decorate this place a little bit with uh, for the live stream. Maybe throw some lights up. Oh, that'd be really cool. Maybe get if we can get like at least a little strip to like hang up across here. Yeah, yeah. And uh, then we can get a strip to go around Frankenstein. Yeah, that'd be really cool. <laughs> that could be easy. That could be accomplishable. Yeah. Um. So we're thinking about doing that. Maybe getting a couple stockings. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. Just get the Christmas spirit. Just the Christmas spirit for that live stream. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Um. Foster will be joining us. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, we got the okay. He wants to come as long as we don't finish late because of his, you know, he's got to be home at a certain time. But yeah. he said if he'll be joining us, so we'll have a good. We'll go, well, for one, we'll have good sound. He's bringing yeah. the mixer. Oh, you already asked him. I already asked him for the mixer. Look, you heard it here first. Yeah, so we're gonna have good sound. And um, we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna watch Krampus. It's gonna be us three. Uh, we don't know what we'll do for food yet, but we'll figure out something. Yeah, that'll be. I'll be. I have. I have been paid by then, so. Oh, oh, it's even better. Probably pick up some reds. Some food would be a good time. Food, some soap. We got the mini fridge now, so we can throw yeah. some shit in there. Yeah. Well, but yeah, join let's, us. Let's, let's, let's end this up though now. December 21st <laughs> at 7 p.m. We're going to start the live stream at 8 p.m. We're going to start the movie. Um, so 7 p.m., come in. Uh, you can talk to us about um, anything. Anything, yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll talk to you maybe about some stuff we have planned for 2020. Um, we're going to play some Christmas themed games, which I'll figure out in the next couple of weeks. I'll probably forget and figure out the day of them. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. usually how it happens. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we're going to have some food, drinks. Uh, we'll do a live QA with you guys. Uh, and we'll watch Krampus. Um, so, yeah. We're going to tell you guys now. That way, you guys can either buy it or find it somehow. And uh, we I know I have it on Voodoo, yeah. which is the streaming service for uh, digital downloads that I buy. Yeah, that was one of our 3 a.m. conversations of. Yeah. Wait, I don't do see it, it on any streaming site. So if you guys can find it somehow from now until then, go ahead. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for supporting the Mindless Horror Podcast, for supporting the channel in general. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, follow us on social media at Knights of Horror on Twitter and at The Knights of Horror on Instagram. Yay. Subscribe to our channel and click that bell quick. Click that bell notification to stay alert when we put up a new video and like this video and comment down below what your thoughts are of the news that we shared with you today and of our live stream and of Character Appreciation Month. Or anything you want to say. We or enjoy. anything you want to say. And if you're feeling a little extra generous, we have a Patreon. There's a link in the bio. Um, we have a Patreon there. Go see what tiers we have to offer. Anywhere from a dollar to twenty dollars. Yes, sir. And you want to thank our current Patreons? Yeah, um, I believe uh, we still have two. That's Jackie and Celine. Jackie and Celine. So... Uh, I made a new outro and everything now, so we're good. Oh, we did. So you can't. Did you see the new outro? No, no I I haven't watched it. I don't, I don't know. It. I don't know if I put it in the Nas video. I may have put it in the Nas video, or I may have put it even in the last podcast that we did. Yeah. But there's a new outro, and then there's a new intro. So I hope you guys enjoy that for 2020. Yeah. Just gotta make one for the mindless horror and shoot the shit. But we will see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>